If you're interested in getting on the water recreationally, then the question used to be, hey, do I want to sit on top kayak or do I want to sit inside kayak? Well, a new question has come, uh, come around over the past 10 years, and that's been, do I want to stand up paddleboard or do I want a recreational kayak? Well, Tahe Sport thinks that they've solved that problem by creating the Tahe Sport 11.6 Beach Supyak. And this sucker here, it's an inflatable watercraft that's designed to be both a stand-up paddleboard and a recreational kayak. But the question is, does it do both well? And that's what I'm gonna test right now. I'm gonna, we're gonna take a quick look at the whole board boat. I'm gonna take it for a test drive and we're gonna see if it holds up. The Tahe Sport 11.6 Beach Sup Yak and Kayak Kit retails for $699 US dollars. The boat is 11 feet 6 inches long. It's 36 inches wide. It weighs only 25 pounds or 11.4 kilos and has a capacity of 450 pounds or 200 kilos. It's primarily designed for protected water and slow moving rivers. Now the features worth noting for the Beach 11 6 Sup Yak is the six inch drop stitch construction. And that's what allows you to pump this thing up to 15 PSI. That's a lot of pressure. This thing is bound to be rigid. Now it has reinforced rail stringers for stiffness and durability. It has bow and stern bungees for stowing gear. It has a daisy chain attachment system for customizing where you put the seat or seats and uh, footrests. And it has carry handles at either end and at the middle. The package for $699 comes with the board or boat, two hybrid paddles for kayaking or paddle boarding, two removable footrests, two seats, a leash to stay connected to the board, a two-way pump with gauge, a backpack for carrying, and a repair kit. All right, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I have pumped up a lot of inflatable kayaks and sups over the past few weeks testing, and I've learned my lesson. I'm not pumping this time. <laughs> I'm trying a new product. This is the Outdoor Master Shark Sup Pump or inflatable kayak pump. And uh, I haven't used this thing before, but I'm excited to use it because it's actually quite a bit of work to hand pump these uh, inflatable kayaks and sups up. It's okay if you do it every so often, but you're, when you're doing it a lot, it becomes a bit of a pain. This thing just plugs right into your car connector. It pumps up to 20 PSI, which covers any uh, inflatable sup or kayak that I know. So I am about to make life easy for myself. 15 PSI. <laughs> I like that. While this sucker's pumping up, do me a favor and subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already because we got lots more gear reviews, paddling tips, and paddling adventures coming your way. Okay, so my first time using the shark. All of a sudden, it seemed to kick, in, kick into another drive, another gear, and started making a pretty loud sound. It made, me, made my heart jump a bit, but it actually just kicked into another gear as most of the sup filled up. Now it's really driving the pressure home, and actually on the display, you can see the pressure as it goes up. I set it to 15 PSI, which is the pressure level that Tahi Sports recommends for this thing. Now that is rigid. That's nice and tight. I think this thing is going to, it's going to feel very hard and rigid in the water. Wow, that is tight. Jeez. Well, it's ready to go. And I'm looking forward to trying this thing. I can tell you my first impression is Maybe a little bit of awe <laughs> that for $699, you get everything in this package. I mean, not only do you get a stand up, a really nice looking inflatable stand up paddleboard, but one that converts into a kayak, not just a kayak, but also a tandem kayak if you want. I have it set up as a single kayak because I'm just going to try it myself. But it comes with two seats and, and two footrests, so you can put two, I would think, smaller people in this one. I'm not convinced that, that I would be very comfortable paddling this 
as a tandem, except with someone very small up front. Uh, but then on top of that, you, there's all sorts of other goodies you get, including two paddles. Now, the paddles can be used as either stand-up paddles they, or as kayak paddles. And, you know, the kayak paddle that comes with this thing, it's, hey, it's part of a package. It's pretty amazing. I'm not going to test it, though, because I, I know what a kayak paddle like this, how it will perform. It's going to paddle like an entry-level kayak paddle. It's going to do the trick. And, hey, any paddle is better than no paddle. So the fact that you get two of these with this board is awesome. But if you're a paddler and you do a lot of paddling, it won't take you long to want your own specific kayak paddle or a higher end kayak paddle. And so that's what I'm going to use today instead of this sucker. Let's get this thing to the water and go paddling. Well, I've paddled this boat, board, whichever, long enough to get a good feel for it. And here's what I can tell you. Let's start with performance. How does it perform as a recreational kayak? Does it feel like a stand-up paddle board that you're sitting down on and paddling? Yes, it does. It doesn't, does it perform as well as a similarly classed recreational kayak? Well, no, it doesn't paddle quite as well as one of those. First of all, it, the bow doesn't have that nice V that cuts through the water. A lot like an all-round stand-up paddleboard, which it very much is, the, the bow is kind of free to move around while the skegs or the, uh, or the fins, the three fins in the stern hold it steady. So it's, it's a different feel from a recre recreational kayak or any kayak because the bow moves around a bit with each stroke you take, but then the stern stops it from swinging off course. So it still does track quite well. It's just a different type of experience. It's not the fastest boat. I mean, it's not a V-hull. It's not designed for speed. The big flat platform underneath this thing makes it you know, fairly slow, but that's what you expect with a 36 inch wide board or boat. You don't expect a speed machine at all. Any kayak that's 36 inches wide isn't gonna be relatively slow. You're gonna be giving up speed for stability. Performance wise, it's what you'd expect. Um, but on the stability side, that's what you gain. This thing is, <laughs> it's rock solid. I mean, as a single, person on this thing you would be hard pressed to flip, flip this thing you i think and i'm not going to test this right now i think you would fall out of this thing before you flip this board slash boat so wonderful stability um comfort oh my gosh i mean you can sit cross-legged you can sit however you want in this thing you could lie down in this thing and that is another trade-off that bonus you get by you know or by giving up some of its performance some of its speed so comfort wise it's wonderful this nice thick seat cushion is great not only you know for comfort on the butt but the other thing it does is it raises your butt higher than your feet when you're paddling and anytime you're butt is higher than your seat, it's more like a natural sitting position, it's more comfortable. And especially if you have any type of back problems, tight hamstrings, then having that raised butt is a great idea. Great back support. I mean, I it took some playing around, but I've got it locked into a great position right now. You know, comfort wise, two thumbs up. Now let's talk durability. Durability wise, as always, you know, time will tell, but the feel I get for this boat is that it's going to be, if you take care of it, it's going to last for years. Uh, I've known Tahe Sports products for a long time and they're solid. You know, they do a great job. So I have no doubt that this thing will last. One of the best tests was actually when I was 
setting up the seat in the right spot in this boat, I sat in the boat with the fins in, because they're permanent fins that they say they're heavy duty, like almost indestructible fins. Well, when a dude like me sits on top of the, those three fins on the ground, and there was no bending, no, it didn't feel like it was a problem. It wasn't a problem at all for them. That's a great sign that this thing is built rock solid. All in all, the only thing that I, I've noticed right off the bat is being uh, sitting up high with this thick seat. Although it's a comfortable sitting position, my paddle's too short. This is a 235 centimeter paddle and I'm a tall dude. So I'm a tall dude in a wide boat sitting up extra high and what I'm finding is I can't get my blade fully planted at the, you know up front before I take a stroke and so what that means is I need a longer paddle and uh, probably a 250 250 centimeter paddle would be the ticket but otherwise I'm going to keep paddling and I'll let you know what else I discover about this boat board spoon fork <laughs> <laughs> All right, so sum it all up. Is it a great wreck kayak? No. Is it a great inflatable sup? No. Is it a good inflatable sup and kayak? Absolutely. It's a very, very solid kayak and sup. And so for me, the idea of being able to do with the same board, stand up paddling and kayaking that's an amazing idea because I love all types of paddling. I love kayaking, but I also love stand-up paddling and canoeing and anything with paddle sports. Each one has its own uh, own challenges, own joys, and it, they, it provides its own workout in its own way. And so I love doing everything. And the fact that you can do it all very well from this one boat slash board is amazing. And it's particularly amazing for the price. I mean, $6.99 for the board with the seats, the two paddles, everything you need. I mean, really, you can't beat that. Uh, and the fact that it's portable, you know, 25 pounds, <laughs> that's incredible too. So a fantastic deal if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for a killer kayak at this price point, well, it's not just, it's not probably the right one, but a dual purpose, amazing. That's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up like always. Subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, and we will see you again for another paddling vid.